President Trump, he's going to have lunch at the White House in the next hour with rapper Kanye West. Joining us now, Daryl Scott, CEO of Urban Revitalization Coalition. Coalition. Daryl, what are your thoughts about this meeting? I think it's going to be great. Kanye West, uh, despite what his critics say, has a social conscience and he has a passion for the black community. He has a passion for uh, his home city of Chicago. And he's going to talk to the president about prison reform, about bringing manufacturing jobs into Chicago, and about doing what he can to help stop the violence. And so I think it's going to be a very, very productive meeting, uh, despite what people try, how people try to spin it. Yeah, you know, it's so funny, Daryl, because growing up particularly, I can always remember one of the big complaints from the black community is access to power. You know, so yeah. getting in the room, uh, having them listen to our story. And now you have uh, people, uh, you know, uh, who are invited and who decide not to come. You know, they, 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 you know, a lot of NFL players have been invited to the White House. I'm not sure any of them have taken up the, the invitation. Meek Mills, the, the rapper in Philadelphia, was invited to the White House. Initially, he accepted. He was talked out of it. How do you explain this? Why, why are we doing this? Why, when we have a chance to go to the White House, the most powerful office in the, in the world, to plead our case, to state our case, to, make a, to, to take a stand, we're turning it down, and then we would critique and criticize someone like Kanye West for doing it. Yeah, they want to stand outside and peek in the window and then criticize the people that are inside. I mean, I get that all the time. Kanye West is, I've had a conversation with him about him coming on board with our urban revitalization efforts, and he's going to participate in our youth empowerment component. But, you know, you have people such as CNN, they have that cast of clowns over there that specialize in black-on-black -black insults. And you have those that make a living off being race hustlers. If we have achieved racial harmony in this country, a lot of people will be out of business. And they cater to that victimization mentality. You know, as long as Kanye West perpetrated himself, or as long as he does perpetrate himself as a victim uh, of racism, then he's a hero. But when he steps up and begins to talk about black empowerment, speaking to power, speaking truth to power, having a seat at the table, those that deny this seat will criticize the seat that he's sitting in. It's ridiculous to me. It's stupid. No, it was, it was very offensive. Uh, you know, and I think it gets back to, you know, I remember growing up, that's the kind of bullying, to be quite frank with you. If you're a black kid and you like certain music, you like certain things that you're going to get teased about, bullied about, punished about, you know, the, being called a token, being called an Uncle Tom. So you just keep it to yeah. yourself, and it never, it never grows. It never, it never becomes what the seeds that God gave you could become because those around you are making you feel little and belittling you. And we saw it on full display with adults that I otherwise admire those people. I think they're really smart, and they're, uh, but why? I don't know why they, they had to go there. It was really hurtful. Uh, President you, Trump, you, go ahead, Daryl. No, I was just going to say, you know, CNN is using blacks to assassinate the character of other blacks. They, you know, have that fake sensitivity to every other marginalized group, but they try to use blacks to assassinate the character of other blacks, and, which is what they did with Kanye West. And it's, it's very unfortunate. It's very stupid. And I don't see how they would allow themselves, if they profess to be smart or intellectuals or whatever they consider themselves to be, I don't see how they would allow themselves to be used like that well, against a, a fellow, uh, one of their own. Pastor Scott, I could just only say I, I hope good things come out of this, particularly with prison reform. We know Kim, uh, Kim Kardashian had success, and I bet you Kanye West gets something done today. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. God bless you. All right.